You can see I've got some Chinese cabbage here. Doesn't look great. It's okay, it happens to everybody. Hey guys, it's Bridgette with Sandy Seed Company and in this video we're doing the Garden Revisited, which are really fun videos where we're going back to some like super old videos. In fact, this one is like hilariously old and I look so adorable and young and not pregnant. So we're going back to old videos and we're clarifying information based on your comments or, or new information we've learned to make those videos even better. We're gonna do a whole series of these while I'm on maternity leave so that while I'm snuggling with my little new little baby boy, you guys can continue to learn in the garden. So in this video, I'm talking specifically about BT. It is one of the best, I mean, it's, it's one of the few insecticides that we use on our organic farm that helps us grow amazing healthy crops totally safe for gardens with kids with pets in fact bt is naturally from the soil it is a strain of bacteria i'm gonna talk about how you use it and how you can use it well so that it makes the most sense and you get the best use out of it so that you can save money on actually using the product and you can actually see the results that you want in the garden all right so i'm not gonna reinvent the wheel let's take a look at this video that we shot back in 2020 oh my god <laughs> And you can learn the basics and then we'll jump into some clarifying questions. I want to show you some produce in my garden that doesn't look great. It's okay, it happens to everybody. You can see I've got some Chinese cabbage here that's really being destroyed. It's being eaten up by leaf eating ca caterpillars. This is a common insect and a pest that you'll find in your cool season garden. But there are a few ways that you can help combat them. Make sure you plant during the correct season. Cool season vegetables love cool weather. If you plant them in too warm of weather, they're really not going to be able to compete against all the pests. Another thing you can do is add row covers. Row covers is a simple piece of fabric that goes over your row of vegetables that keeps the insects out. Another method you can use is spraying a biological insecticide. This one here, called BT, which stands for bacterial thorogenesis, is a naturally occurring bacteria that is bottled, and you can see this one is OMRI listed, which is organic material recognition ingredients, which means I can use this on my certified organic farm. This product can be sprayed on any vegetable in your garden that gets eaten by leaf-eating caterpillars. The way that it works is it specifically targets those insects. It's important that you read the back for all of the instructions and that when you spray your plant, you also spray on the underside of your leaves. If you don't, it's likely the spray won't come in contact with them, you won't kill them, and you'll still see a lot of damage and you'll be wasting your time and your money. Okay, so let's get into some clarifying questions that's gonna make this content even better. First of all, what does cool weather mean when you live in zone nine and 10, okay? it's. August right now, we're running the AC. You're probably gonna run the AC in lots of parts of, of zone nine and 10, man, well into October. So it can be confusing what I mean by cool season crops. Now, first of all, let me just pitch our calendar because if you are a new grower or even not a new grower, but you're confused about what you plant when, we've literally made a calendar that's specific to zone nine and 10 that's gonna tell you everything you need to plant each month. So there's no more guessing. I mean, it's just, I literally, I, this is the closest thing of me coming into your greenhouse with you and saying, no, 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 don't plant that, plant this. It's all here for you. Now, if you already have the calendar and you're still confused, the next step you need to follow is signing up for our Growing Together membership. It basically follows the calendar but has monthly content and I come and hold your hand and we grow literally a garden together so that you can learn how to be a really good grower in our somewhat difficult zone nine and 10. Well, you know, let's see, clarifier. I'm not actually gonna like physically be with you, but I'm gonna be with you virtually, spiritually, and emotionally with you in your garden. In zone nine and 10, there's really two main seasons, warm season and cool season. Cool season starts from about late August, goes into December, maybe a little bit of January and February. That is cool season. That is when two things are happening. We have shorter hours of sunlight, okay? So they're waning here. They're gaining hours of sunlight in January and February, but they're still pretty low, 10 hours, maybe 11, maybe 12, and the temperatures are lower. So it's cool weather and it's shorter hours of sunlight. 
During those times of years, you're going to be growing your brassicas, your leafy greens, all those things love to be eaten by one group of insects, and those are caterpillars. Whether they're cabbage loopers or other types of leaf-eating caterpillars, they love those crops. So during the months specifically of September, October, November, December, January, and February, your garden's gonna be plagued by one specific insect. And for most of us, it's the cabbage looper. Now luckily for you, there's one specific insecticide that you can use called BT. Now the reason why it works is it's targeting specifically caterpillars. And now let's clarify their lifespan. So caterpillar really only lasts, especially like cabbage loopers, they really only have a lifespan of about 30 days. And so if you spray BT every seven days, every 10 days, for really only four, four times, right, that's a month, you will have caught that insect in every part of its lifespan. So when it's an egg, when it's a little squishy, little tiny thing, when it's a full grown adult, and you will essentially be able to control the population that way. That's a pretty easy way to organically manage an insect that can totally destroy all of your cool season crops. So another way that you can control these insects is with row cover. You can basically place row cover, and let me clarify, not shade cloth, row cover, which is also sometimes called frost cloth, you'll use the lightest weight possible for zone nine and 10. And what it's gonna do is basically keep the, the moths from landing on the crop and laying their eggs. Now we actually like to use it in conjunction with BT because here's the thing, are you out in the garden every single day and you're like, hey moth, don't land on my cabbage. No, while you're sleeping, a moth landed on your cabbage and laid its eggs and then you came out the next day and you put your row cover on, well that doesn't really help. So we spray the plants that are underneath the row cover to take care of anything that's already on there. We cover it with row cover to prevent any new moths from coming in and laying their eggs. Because as you can see here, just because you take care of them in September and October doesn't mean that there's not moths flying around in December laying eggs that then are gonna hatch and start eating your plants in January. So it's a way that you can organically and long-term protect your crops all the way through the growing season. Now, a popular question we get is, how long do you leave the row cover on? Well, because their life cycle is, is 30 days, you really don't wanna leave it on for three days and pull it off. This is a long-term process where you're gonna leave the row cover on for most of the season until the plants get big enough that one, two, five, 20 cabbage loopers can't do enough damage to really matter. What is really important is when the plants are tiny, and you can imagine like, you know, here's a tiny little sprout, don't make fun of my artwork. You know, it gets bigger, it gets bigger, it gets bigger, it gets bigger. By the time January comes and you have a big old plant with a big old head of broccoli on it, for example, cabbage loopers are not gonna do enough damage that you really even care. And that's an important part about being an organic gardener is you have to give a little bit of control up to nature and say, okay, you can eat a little bit of these leaves, that's fine. Just leave me most of my broccoli head and we got a deal. In every garden, you're gonna have to enlist some help of some tools, some insecticides, preferably organic and preferably specifically used for the pest at hand. BT is a fabulous product. Now I'm not gonna go into a whole neem uh, tangent right now, but BT is a thousand times better than neem, and it's used specifically for the insect that you need to destroy, and will work really well. We use it on our organic garden, and hopefully you feel safe using it in your garden. Now make sure you like and subscribe to this video if you're a new gardener and you wanna learn more about growing in zone nine and 10. We're here to help you. We're here to give you really good advice that is trialed and tested that we actually use in our farm and our garden. It's not just some weird information we pulled from the internet and it's backed by science. So join our growing community. Oh, sorry, why is it doing that? How is that possible? Oh, it's my phone. Okay, join our growing community. So join our growing community, literally actually growing physically and emotionally and also growing in the garden so that we can help you have the best garden ever.